the next thing that we do for before we start routing lines on our board is to set up those particular uh, minimum settings that the manufacturer has in our design now the a single place where you can go to do that is setup and constraints and uh, you can open it up and do that the other place where you can do that from is this one right here it's called the constraint manager and if you open it up you will see that there is a particular window that opens up and in there you can set electrical constraints physical constraints spacing constraints and other different things we will go into the physical constraints part and then open up whatever is the physical constraint set in all the layers and there what you see is that there are minimum and maximum widths which can be specified for the lines for various different kinds of signals like differential pairs then broadband like via staggers and all those different kinds of things now in here is where you set that uh, settings which we had taken off of uh, Bay Area circuits website now as you can see by default they are set at 5 mils which is okay because that is the minimum spacing that they need and then but the only thing is pad and trace separation is 0.254 so let's see if we can find that out from anywhere um, top and bottom both would be the same then net layers and everything are all okay uh, let's go to spacing and see what we see there in spacing do they have one where we are uh, line to through pin now this would be one because the through pins are all holes right so that should be uh, point, uh, 0.254 so we need to change it so that is 0.254 so that is changed then SMD pin test pin and all that and through and also it they said holes so then holes would be 2.54 as well minimum then um, the via the through via again is a hole so we would do 2.54 and that way we are now in a position where we have set the constraints up according to the specifications of the uh, manufacturer right now the next thing that we would do let's see if they have anything else like properties general properties or what they have route restrictions uh, and all that test points shield EMC now these are things which we would encounter later on and are not needed for right now so once you set the constraints up in this manager simply go to file and close this window and your constraints would be set for this particular design now with the constraint manager set now you are in a position where you can start placing the component like replacing the components according to your design and then routing the wires from the various different places to those components so that's what we would see in the next video